Some of the persons behind the development of LMRSTR are Yangi Echo 3 Charlie India Foxtrot, Uniform Tango 3 Mike Kilo, and Foxtrot 5 November Papa Victor. F5 and PV has given detailed descriptions about homebrewing LMRSDR on its webpage, including videos. Even though I did look at the pages of YE3CIF and UT3MK, they seem to be in regional languages. I could not find the expansion of LMR on those pages though I presume that it would stand for LAN mobile radio. LMR cables which many of us use were initially designed for LAN mobile radio. SDR stands for software defined radio like my FT710 which uses software to do many of the functions done by hardware in the conventional superhedrodyne radio receiver. It is interesting to note that LMR SDR covers from 160 to 10 meter band that is the whole amateur radio HF bands. There are a few friends in my region also who are homebrewing LMR SDR though I am yet to venture into it. It uses Arduino Nano microprocessor like the Bitex QRP radios popular in this region. The clock or frequency generator used is SI5351. SI5351 is a programmable clock generator which can generate up to 8 independent frequencies and operates on fixed crystal of 25 or 27 MHz. Frequency multipliers and dividers are used to generate the frequency of your choice with the programmable algorithm. Product listed online in this region can cover from 8 kHz to 160 MHz and cost only around 300 INR, 3.56 US dollars. LMR SDR designed by FI and PV uses only 5 integrated circuits and 5 transistors. Output in the FI and PV design is 0.1 to 50 milliwatt. 30 watt amplifier is used along with it to provide a decent signal on the band. The amplifier is fed by a class A amplifier providing an output of about 1 watt. Power SDR and expert SDR softwares can be used. The VFO variable frequency oscillator can be controlled from the power SDR. A computer and sound card are needed for the operation of the LMR SDR. A nice waterfall display can be seen in the computer just as I see in my FT710 though the configuration is different. Maybe after a little more learning experience I might venture into LMR SDR because one of the persons trying it out in my region is VU3 Golf Echo X-Ray located at just about 2 kilometers from my place. A computer and sound card are needed for the operation of the basic version of LMR SDR and uses Power SDR software. Yesterday VU3 GEX told me about standalone versions of LMR SDR which do not need a computer. He mentioned that ESP32 and STM32 can be used in standalone LMR SDR. STM32 is a family of 32 bit microcontroller integrated circuits by ST Microelectronics. ESP32 is a series of low cost, low power microcontrollers. To my great surprise, a search for ESP32 standalone LMA SDR brought me to RD Vibes, a website by VU3ZOF, whom I have been hearing and talking to on 40 meter for the past few days. 
According to the website, the standalone variant was developed by YD1 GSE and uses ESP32 A1S processor. The Exciter frontend design is similar to the usual LMR STR. So it is getting more and more interesting.